Welcome to Ryan Field on the campus of Northwestern University and home to the Wildcats where the purple clad fans are eager to get this one started. As we wind our way toward the end of another college football season, one of the grand traditions is paying tribute and respect to those who have just poured their souls into the success of this program and honor the seniors on Senior Day. As we'll see a squad from the Big Ten, the Illinois Fighting Illini, taking on a fellow Big Ten foe, the Northwestern Wildcats. From the gun, wants to pass. Catch in the middle, it's Johnson. And oh, he was off to the races after the catch, and they finally drag him down. Really nice job there in the quarterback. Reading coverage, he knew exactly where to go with the football and at what exact time. The timing could not have been better. They get the completion on third down, setting up first and goal. After another clutch third down conversion, it's first and goal. Into the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Wildcats. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. Man, that's a great example of KYP. Know your personnel. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. Looks as if this will be a 51. Oh, they blocked the kick. And they got it. He's loose down the left side. He's at the 10. Touchdown, fighting Illini. And once he got away from the D, they had no shot at catching him. This is not a straight-on kick, a 42-yarder from the right hatch. Absolutely perfect. And guys, how much better does it feel if you go to that locker room with eight. And he rolls into the house. Touchdown, Northwestern! And that is exactly what you want from your offense. Man, late in the half, you want to execute and then punch it in physically on the ground. Take the lead going into the half. Take all the momentum. Nice execution on the drive by that offense. And here on second down, they'll send out the field goal unit to try to get three before the break. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. From inside the 10, here he comes. They finally make the stop. That's going to make those halftime stats look a little bit nicer as we head to the break. We played two quarters here. Time to go to Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Fellas, what an environment there today. All the animosity and flat-out hatred that comes with a good old-fashioned rivalry game on display in that first half. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Northwestern will line up with a first and goal. Oh, it's a reverse. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Wildcats! That is so well done. On fourth down, flexing that muscle in the run game. They stop him short of the marker, and they'll turn it over on downs. Dropping back, it's right. And it's intercepted. A huge fourth quarter play for this defense. Got some room to run. No one there to stop him, except the fella in the striped shirt who pulled the penalty flag. This one might be coming back. This defense happy with how that last play turned out. So they'll decline the penalty. Now they'll try to tie it up with the two late. Let's go! Snap in the shotgun. And a dangerous pass there. Almost threw a pick in the end zone. So on fourth down, here comes the field goal kicker in a huge spot. 
It is true as he puts three on the board. Looking downfield, it's Altmaier. He's taking a deep shot late in the game. Oh, and he gets downfield for the big catch. And if they want to take the lead, can't be thinking field goal here. They'll need a touchdown to go up in the fourth. Turning to the running game on first and goal. Touchdown, Illinois! And they grab the advantage, taking the lead here in the fourth. And this offense really showing their physicality, running the football when it matters in the fourth quarter, in crunch time, to take the lead in this football game. Leading by one, they'll go ahead and go for two and try to make it a field goal game. Wants to go up top. They're bringing heat. Trying to get it away, and he cannot. The quarterback is sacked, and so is the two-point conversion attempt. Back to throw. It's right. Unloads to the wideout. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. Well, they've thrown two straight incompletions, and they just need to play pitch and catch on this next play. What's your personnel grouping going to be, and what do you want to do? Play man, play zone, or are you just going to sit back and play preview? Looking deep. Incomplete on fourth down, and man, did they need to keep that drive alive. And the quarterback takes a knee. They say every game counts the same in the standings, and that is true, but there are some games that no matter what the coaches say, they just mean a little more, and they hurt a little more if you lose. They do, and that's a fact, and every player will tell you that. There are some games that are highlighted before the season that this game matters more, and it's not that the other ones don't matter. It's just that the hate runs so deep for some of these rivalries and some of these kids that grew up across the street from each other that went to different schools, Jesse. You can feel it. David, you're absolutely right, and I wonder because it was a rivalry game, did the losing team get a little overhyped? It just looked like they were pressing too much in this football game. They too, made too many uncharacteristic mistakes, and as a result, they take the L. That's going to do it for us from here. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.